My name is Kay Wellman and I'm a longtime member of the Chagrin Valley Quilt Guild. And today I'm going to talk to you something about um, the new, well, I call them new or more modern um, way that quilting is being done. This is one example. This designer is Sue Spargo. And this particular project was done in a method called um, a block of the month club. So each of these nine blocks, the maker of this got, she paid for it by the month, and then she got the borders to fill out the rest of the months. Not always do people frame their quilts as this one was done. And it, this particular method is done on what's called felted wool, which is wool that has been put in very hot water and then dried with hot heat um, to shrink it and make it so that you can cut it along the edge and it won't fray. So Sue has a delightful way of putting these things together and coming up with all these different embroidery stitches that are used to embellish, whether it's the flowers or the birds or whatever. I've seen she's done uh, uh, seed grouping and mushrooms and many different things. <clears throat> so this is one modern way of um, uh, this particular method of quilting. It can be made into an actual quilt with batting and probably a cotton uh, fabric batting because uh, backing, excuse me, because uh, if you use the felted wool, it would be really heavy. So the other thing that has happened is that the traditional blocks from the older quilts, be it this uh, triple Irish chain or this particular one, have been used in a design in a different way. As you can see, these blocks don't just look, they don't look like they march along in a row as these do. If you look closely, you can see that the construction is row by row. But these blocks overlap. Uh, they do have borders on them, but the overlapping and the um, sort of combining of the designs to me shows a very modern interpretation of using squares, rectangles, something like that, instead of the more traditional way that this was done and that was done. So moving on in that same vein, the maker of this quilt and the other one was Bonnie Gutman, who is a member of the Quilt Guild also. Her granddaughter apparently particularly likes purple. So she found this pattern and picked very modern fabrics. And instead of using triangles in the traditional way as the snowball shows or as this one shows with the, fly, with the um, half square triangles, these triangles are used in a very modern way, edged with white. And um, it gives it to me a, a kind of a fresh springy feeling to it. So that's just to show how the evolution of this quilt design has changed over many years. <laughs> 